We are building us a farmer's market. Hey everybody, this is Irlad and we're back for another episode of Red Panda Skylines. And today, before we get started expanding anything, I want to take care of a little bit of housekeeping business here. Uh, so, in our first episode, we unlocked our good old district painter tool. And I want to make good use of that. So, I, I mentioned that the way that I'm sort of starting this off is we are... Uh, what's the word? We're starting with some rural communities that are kind of spreading organically. And eventually, those rural communities are going to sort of smash into each other, I guess you could say. Um, and as that happens, you know, we're going to sort of be organically blending them. There will be some inevitable redevelopment. There's, there's nothing we can do about that. Uh, but I'm going to avoid the grid, and I'm going to try to make the, the conjunction of these communities as, uh, as organic and natural looking as possible. Uh, but it, it occurred to me that... I have not done a good job of actually giving each community its own unique sort of identity. So what I'm trying to do right here and now is remedy that little problem. For the most part, I want this to just be the industrial area. I did apparently name West Farm over here, which I'd actually forgotten. I did that for purely pragmatic reasons. I needed to declare this an industrial specialized, or sorry, an agricultural specialized industry area uh, but I did not name or identify the other communities so this is what we're fixing uh, poplar heights no nah. no nah, nah. there's no heights and I don't think there's any poplars either so we are gonna call this uh, we're gonna call this Panhaven this was our starting town and it's eventually going to be the community that sort of dominates the rest of it. You can see that the whole whole city map I've named Panhaven. Whoops. There we go. Alright, so that is officially Panhaven. And I'm going to name this the Panhaven Industrial Park. Right, and that's separate really only so that we can, uh, we can create separate policies for it. We got West Farm already. We're going to call this Western, <laughs> the, the Western town, which there will probably be at least one or two communities farther west than that. But, you know, this is how town names go. They don't make a lot of sense. Uh, so that's the first little housekeeping bit. The other thing is this ridiculous highway interchange here. Uh, I don't know why I would ever need such a huge interchange for such tiny little rural communities. Uh, so basically my answer to this is, this was never here, it didn't exist. You're imagining things, it's Mandela Syndrome. We are gonna chop all of this out. We're gonna downscale it to something much more reasonable. And that will actually end up being a lot easier to sort of riff off of in the future. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and chop this out as well. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and have it be a four lane, even though that all by itself is pretty uncalled for. All right, well, that was an ordeal. <laughs> I kind of regret doing that, but uh, it is what it is. Um... So basically, I screwed it up so bad originally that I actually ended up going back and starting over from scratch. That was extra fun. Uh, but eventually, I got more or less what I was after. Uh, it was very expensive. <laughs> Still is being very expensive as I kind of finish off these, uh, these embankments. Yeah, whatever. There it is. <laughs> uh, and I'll come back to it and I'll clean it up a bit more later uh, notably I had not actually unlocked highway yet so I can't uh, I, I just had to use like standard one way roads here which means that our lane math is off but I do want highways there so I didn't want to replace it and then go back and replace it later 
when I actually unlock highway highway roads. So uh, it is what it is. I don't know. It's 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 not ideal, but to me, this being the main thoroughfare definitely um, makes a lot more sense than the divided highway that we had orig had originally. I don't know, it was just a it was it was a train wreck. There. Anyway, uh, moving on. So uh, I did have to go back and redraw the districts just slightly because I had to reload a save to start over. But they're pretty much where we left them. So in the last episode, we upgraded to Tiny Town, uh, which gave us park areas, industry areas, landscaping, event policies. I used a lot of landscaping there. Yeah, that's quite expensive. <laughs> um... We got some industry areas, so that's awesome because we're going to build some farm areas. Uh, but I need to get another city tile before I can do that. Uh, a lot of other things we don't have the money or space for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, that's an event policy. Cool. And we got a lot of path options and such. Yeah, we unlocked a good bit of stuff. A lot of parklands. But nothing all that critical for our growth right this minute. So we're going to keep doing things the way that we have been doing them. <laughs> Alright, so um, let me see. Everybody's going to do a whole campus over here. And I am going to eliminate that road right there because... One thing I've noticed poking around on some Google Maps, doing a little research, is that a lot of the time, these uh, these power plants will have pretty restricted access. So the only traffic coming in or out should be power plant related traffic. Like there should be no through traffic going from, uh, from the highway to the industrial section. Now, since I have fence up, I can go ahead and rezone all this as industrial. Not this. And that really should have cut all that off. What the heck, man? What gives? All right. Uh, let's see. So we are all set for power. Oh yeah, yeah we are. How are we still doing? We we still oh we're going abandoned, are we? Nice. Okay. Yeah. So we're very much hurting for workers. So these are a little bit nicer subdivisions than, uh, than what we had over here. Which I can grab a few more uh, lots in there, actually. Man, this did come out looking nice and cookie cutter. This is going to be a little bit more variety. Not a lot. <laughs> Look, it's the same house in two different colors. Yay, variety. Man, I wish this wasn't so realistic. <laughs> I hate everything about these neighborhoods. I really do. But they do give people places to live. Well, it's a terrible place to live, probably, but it exists. There it is. Um, I guess probably I could do some kind of a park somewhere if I really wanted to. For these guys' sake. Let's see, I didn't zone all the way in here anyway, so yeah, let's do this. Um, park. Park, 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 park. Park with trees. 
too big. Whoa, that's huge. It's also big. What is that? Small playground. Eh. Small part. Too big. Dog park. Mm, yeah, sure, why not? I don't want to lay path because real in reality you're gonna see like a lot of foot connections. What do they call them? Desire paths or something? Happening around uh, rural communities like this. Got a little usage. Didn't invest a lot into it to begin with. We're, we're doing alright. Alright, need lots more residential. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, we are going to put in a water tower. That's what we're going to do. Nice big water tower proclaiming that this is Penhaven. We're going to do that right off the subdivision. Sticking up above the trees. Right where you'll see it getting off the highway. Very nice. Pretty solid. Need some more sewage treatment here pretty, pretty, pretty soon. I'm not going to waste any time getting that set up. Hoo hoo hoo. Wow. Jeez. Boomtown, I'm going to need another 700 residents or so. Right now I'm actually losing residents. It's no fun at all. So let's see. I think it might be time, rather than doing another subdivision, it might be time to go ahead and start another community. All right. You got a new little community kind of drawn in here. Let's, uh, let's name it. This time I think I'm going to go for, hmm, the name. Let's call it, oh, you know what, Washington Park actually sounds fine. I don't usually use default names for neighborhoods, but that one ain't bad. I like it. We'll keep it. How close are we to our goal? Uh, we still need a few hundred. Uh, that little neighborhood by itself is probably not enough to do it even after it fills out all the way. Then again, if I can encourage some upgrading, who knows? Maybe it'll happen. Uh, let's see. Alright, park the trees it is. Let's get some trail connections going on up in here. So we'll have a few lots filling in down here. Population's still growing. I don't know. We might hit our goal for that. Or with that. Or whatever. But we'll see. Meantime, let's see. I can probably get myself a little bit more population over here. And we'll be at our goal any second now. Oh, what happened here? What the heck? Must have been a fire or something. Notice that none of these are abandoned and none of them say that they're short of workers. That's pretty sweet. Oh, uh, let's see. So, enterprising individual comes along and says, Hey, we've got this perfectly good paved road in right here. Let me, um, let me go ahead and... Figure out a place I can branch a road off. Um, and he says, I, I think I can start a little, little business here, right? Or maybe a number of businesses, who knows? We are building us a farmer's market. Now we've got a place for goods from these farms to go be sold. Grow a pair of vegetables and fruit. Yes. That's nice. That's what I wanted to see. That looks like farmer's market stall. 
Oh, Boomtown made it. All right, cool. So I can get a new tile. Been looking for that. Uh, walking towards bus. Yeah, I can finally get some mass transit. Not that I'm really hurting for it right now. Postal service. Ooh, I can do a little post offices now. Neat. Um, good policies. Get me some highway. I can finally fix that nonsense over there at the interchange. And now I have elder care, I have death care, I have child care, yeah, I have child care. I have disaster relief type stuff. Neat. Um, services. Or industry specialization. Cool, cool, cool. Ah, look at that. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you. Let's see if I can get more of that going on. Awesome. Anyway, uh, I need to run water out. Too many roads. I was in the middle of adding more new roads when I got interrupted by long-awaited Boomtown. Oh, hey, and I never named uh, Park District over here. So this is obviously Farmer's Market. That's what we're going to call it. That's what it's named. Oh, and I forgot to hit Enter. See how our whack mole is going. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want your free charge EV charging. Uh, let's see, I better deal with death care, though. Um, for now, we're just going to plop some cemeteries. Some place kind of out of the way, like. Yeah, and... Not in the industrial sector, that's just crass. Right, post office. Let's do post office. Let's do recycling centers. I got money. Let's do this. Let's use some of it. Um, recycling centers. I'm going to go ahead and eminent domain. Uh, well, I don't know what it is. Uh, hang on. I'm going to empty that one. And the reason why I'm going to empty that one is so I can flip it to that way the recycling centers and the landfills are emptying onto separate roads. Um, I'm actually completely dissatisfied with how this looks, so I'm going to redo that at some point, but not right now. Oh, i got to run water to the cemetery. Why? Who's thirsty there? Alright, and I think it's probably about time that I started putting serious thought into how these two communities are going to merge here. It's only natural that sooner or later somebody's going to do a little cutoff road over this way. Probably pave it. I think this is where we're going to get a subdivision developer come in looking to build a neighborhood. Right, looks like crime is starting to pop up in some pretty significant ways over in Weston. I think uh, Weston at this point could probably afford their own little police station. Oh yeah, hey, let's look at some policies real quick, because I want recycling to be a big thing, and I want um, recycled plastic to be a big thing. Uh-oh. Hey, I just thought of another city service that I'm probably not supplying enough of. <laughs> let's see... I'll drop in one firehouse that's going to serve both of these communities over here. And I can pick up that tile that I said I was going to grab. Let's see. Which one had the excellent, excellent farmland? 
Oh yes, yeah, so that one, that one right there. So we're just heading east from Penhaven. Wait, that's not east, that's south. I don't care. We're heading that direction. Oh, purchase. It's expensive, but I'll take it. And now we can head in here and we can get ourselves an actual farming industrial area set up. It's going to be awesome. Farming main building right there. I spent way too much time figuring out where to put it, but there it is. Uh, it's going to be set to animal products and it's going to be set to empty because I need to export as much of that stuff as possible. Alrighty, and we have expanded to include a flour mill, which is not currently able to operate. Got a little extra, um, what you call it, crop storage here. That's partly because this one is getting way too full consistently, and so is this one. Need more places to store this stuff so that processors like pastures and flour mills can uh, take that stuff and, and turn it into better things, more valuable things, right? Um, I've been fighting a very slow plague of abandoned buildings around town it is what it is it's gonna happen sometimes um yeah the farmers market has well it's it's done things it hasn't really done the things that I wanted it to do dang I really should have made that um, that gas station historical yeah. <laughs> I'm not keeping this. That's an eyesore. Like, that looks awful. Uh, I guess we, on that note, I'd better go ahead and make sure that some of these others stay the way I leave them, the way I want them. Anyhow, overall, I'm feeling pretty good about things. I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. Uh, things are developing, things are happening. It's incredibly slow, but it's there. So, uh, in any case, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you uh, will consider paying a little visit down to the subscribe button if you haven't already. Love to see you back for the next one. And, yeah. Y'all take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>